The last lesson was on the transverse Mercator projection. You should make sure that you are familiar with it before coming on to this one, because the oblique Mercator projection is an extension of the same ideas. One of the problems with the normal or direct Mercator was that the constant scale area was limited to a band of 960 nautical miles wide, that is, 480 nautical miles either side of the equator. Whilst we are also limited to 480 nautical miles either side of the datum meridian on the transverse Mercator, this is less of a problem. There is only one parallel of latitude, which is a great circle, whereas there are an infinite number of meridians and their corresponding anti-meridians, which can be used for the datum great circle. Therefore, if a flight involves a departure of more than 480 nautical miles east or west of the datum meridian, we simply change chart to another transverse Mercator, which uses a different datum meridian. By changing charts, we can fly all the way around the Earth if necessary, in an east-west sense, using transverse Mercators. You cannot do this north or south with the direct Mercator. However, there is a better way. Suppose that the route is from London to Nairobi. The shortest route between these two points is the Great Circle joining them. If the Great Circle route between two points is chosen as the Great Circle of Tangency, and the cylinder is wrapped around this, the result is an oblique Mercator projection. This new Great Circle of Tangency, which is often referred to as the False Equator, will have correct scale all along its length and will be within 1% out to 480 nautical miles either side of the centre line. This gives a strip of constant scale which is effectively 1,000 nautical miles wide, and of a length which can include the whole of the Earth's circumference. The Great Circle is a straight line, and any other Great Circle within the cover of the map is, for all practical purposes, also a straight line. If we take the false equator strip and lay it flat, and then cut it up into usefully sized segments for a convenient chart, we get a sheet with the false equator along the center line. With less than 1% scale error anywhere on the chart, provided the scale chosen gives sides which are not more than 480 nautical miles away from the center, on which straight lines may be taken to be great circles. This has virtually all the advantages we require and almost no drawbacks. It is true that calculation of chart convergence is complex, but this is not usually needed in practical flying. For this reason, use of the oblique Mercator is becoming more common. Jeppesen still use mainly Lambert projections, but nearly all AIRAD en route charts are now oblique Mercators. The main use of the oblique Mercator chart is for flying specific great circle routes. However, it also makes a very good general purpose en route chart, plotting chart, or radio nav chart. The graticule looks like this. It may not look it, but it is in fact orthomorphic. The actual relationship of the latitude and longitude graticule to the great circle of tangency, the so called false equator, will vary according to the choice of false equator, but the general pattern is as we see here. We will now examine the chart properties in the usual way. This is the list which is of interest to us. We will start with the graticule. It is, as we have already described, complex and apparently irregular, but in fact orthomorphic. Next is scale. It expands as the secant of the great circle distance from the great circle of tangency. However, it is constant, or very near to constant, close to the false equator, which is where it will be used. Convergence is correct along the great circle of tangency, and also at the poles and equator. Rum lines will be complex curves. However, this chart would not normally be used for rum line flying. 
Great circles are complex curves, but may be taken as straight lines close to the great circle of tangency. Therefore, for all practical purposes, a straight line on the chart is a great circle. Let's summarize this lesson. If the great circle route between two points is chosen as the great circle of tangency, and the cylinder is wrapped round this, the result is an oblique Mercator projection. This new great circle of tangency, which is often referred to as the false equator, has correct scale all along its length, and is within 1% out of 480 nautical miles either side of the centre line. The great circle is a straight line, and any other great circle within the cover of the map is, for all practical purposes, also a straight line. The main use of the oblique Mercator chart is for flying specific great circle routes. However, it also makes a very good general purpose on route chart, plotting chart, or radio nav chart. The graticule is orthomorphic. This projection has all the advantages we require and almost no drawbacks. This completes our study of the oblique Mercator and, with it, our study of maps and charts.